for cheap, fast and reliable bells and items in Animal Crossing, make sure you check out z2u.com, linked down below for some amazing deals. Hey, what is up guys? Today I'm just doing a quick video showing you and telling you about everything you need to know for the summer season coming to Animal Crossing, providing you're in the Northern Hemisphere. If you are in the Southern Hemisphere, you can probably watch this in December, January and February. And if you are watching it then, leave a comment and let me know because I'd love to know if you are watching this all the way in the future. But anyway guys, before we do get into the video, we are so close to 900 subscribers and we might hit 1k by the end of May, which would be super cool. So if you guys could subscribe if this video helps you out even just a tiny bit, that would be massively appreciated. And if you do, of course, want to watch me play games live, I do that on twitch.tv forward slash rayroon. The link will be down below along with everything else you may need and a link to this article. Without further ado though, let's get right into it. So for you guys who have probably watched my streams or videos, you may have noticed these, uh, these blue summer shells uh, just appearing around the world. Uh, so they will just spawn randomly throughout the day so you don't get a certain amount on your beach. They do just appear. The best thing is though, unlike the uh, bunny day eggs, you don't have to go around shaking stuff, they just wash up on the beach. And as you can see, they're very traditional looking, just blue versions of regular shells. Uh, they're super nice, but like I say, you're not going to need too many of these to craft all of these recipes. So as it says here, and as I stated, they will just wash up on the beach. So I've of course played in June already, uh, and they are super, super easy to find. Like I think literally the first day I loaded up in June, I found one like pretty much immediately. Uh, and obviously these wash up throughout the day. So there's no set amount you can get. So if you are playing for like a 12 hour session, you might find more than enough to do everything. If not, you probably get them in a couple of days. So here are some of the DIY crafting recipes you guys will need. So of course, the first one we have here is the shell wand which will take three summer shells and three star fragments. Uh, and it's pretty cool because it does look like um, one of those clams with the pearls in it, uh, which is which is super cool. But of course, if you guys do switch outfits a lot, and if you guys have watched any of my streams, you'll know that people love just coming and showing off all the outfits they've got. So, you know, why not add a summer twist to that? If you're showing off your summer outfits, why not do it with a summer shell wand? Now, the next thing we have is the Shell Wreath. This one's a little bit more pricey with uh, a few more items required to actually craft it. But of course, it looks very nice if your house is on the beach. You whack the Shell Wreath on the door and boom, it looks perfect. All you'll need for this is one of each of these items. So a Summer Shell, a Sea Snail, a Sand Dollar, Coral, Giant Clam and one Cowrie. And that's literally it. So obviously you can see it's a nice assortment there, so it's not quite as boring as uh, some of the other ones, like with the flowers, that only has like three going up the side. So this is definitely one to look out for. The next one we have is a shellfish poche, I believe it's pronounced. Not too sure on that, but what I am sure of is it takes two giant clams and six summer shells. We've also next got the starry sands flooring, which, it's basically just sand uh, and for this you will need the sandy beach flooring and then of course three summer shells uh, and as this is sort of exclusive to the season it might just be cool to have this one if you've got like a sand floor in your house why not just upgrade it a little bit and of course we've got the beautiful beautiful tropical vista so you'll obviously be able to go back and craft all of these so I think some of these are obtainable through Sahara but obviously if you can just make them yourself you don't have to sort of roll the dice and see if she has them on a certain day. And you also, of course, don't have to trade for them as well. So for the cost of five summer shells, which you can easily get in 10, 15 minutes of gameplay if you look properly throughout your beach, and then, of course, they'll regenerate if you don't get them straight away, you can literally craft what is a pretty cool wall, to be fair. Then we've also got the underwater flooring, a personal favourite of mine. And obviously, you can see the little bits of coral, sort of detailed and that is why this will cost you three coral and three summer shells and if you want to you know pair that up with an underwater wall so you've got the floor why not add the wall 
That'll cost you five coral, so two more than the last one, and of course, three summer shells as well. But, you know, if you don't want to be right at the bottom of the floor, and you just want to be halfway in the water, six summer shells, you can do that with the water flooring. So here they have a handy little total, uh, which I know I've pretty much got all of the items already. Uh, when I was duplicating, I made sure to go through and get all of these. So that will be 30 summer shells, 10 coral, 4 giant clams, 3 star fragments, 2 sea snails, 2 sand dollars, 1 cowrie, and 1 venus comb. That, you can get all of that stuff super easily. So unlike the bunny day eggs, you probably have a lot of this stuff already. Obviously with bunny day, we obviously had a lot of items which used a different set of eggs. So obviously it was a pain if you had like one recipe that required like six. Another one might also require two of the same type while using two of every other type as well. Meaning this one you're less likely to sort of be picking, but as long as you get the summer shells, you can pretty much guarantee you probably have about 90% of this stuff at least right now. So make sure you check your inventory now before this event. Make sure you're nice and prepared. And if you are just selling them to the nooks, maybe hang on to them. Now, if you uh, load up the first day of June, uh, you know, you play your game in the morning, you do all your morning chores. When you speak to Isabel, she will actually give you the Shell Reef DIY crafting recipe. And she'll send it to your phone so you can't, you know, trade it or whatever. It will just be sent and you'll learn it immediately, which is super cool. But as we went through before, it requires one of each of the six items listed here. So that's not too bad. But something to remember, as it states here, this can only happen if you have no other notable announcements. So, you know, if you've got a new villager, you might just want to wait till the next day, or if you are skipping ahead, just skip the one day perhaps, learn it, and then of course, reset your game back. Or, you know, if you're already in June, maybe just uh, skip a day or two, uh, and just see what's going on, see if you can get this. And then of course, there will also be those wonderful, wonderful, flying balloons so make sure you have your slingshot ready for this uh, so there's no concrete way as it says to control exactly what you'll get same before with bunny day but obviously the balloons were a different color and of course you can also get duplicate diy recipes so what you may want to do is potentially trade these with friends and that will just get you through this a lot quicker so you know if you're playing for like a whole day you might just be able to get an absolute ton of these maybe two or three duplicates trade them with a friend and you might finish faster than you expected. The final thing they do add in this though, which is uh, the less obvious of all the stuff added, is of course, flying balloon presents always have a chance of spawning on an every five minute cycle, beginning at four minutes past the hour. That means you can expect possible balloon spawns at 104, 109, 114, 119, 124, you get the gist of it. And then of course it will reset by the end of the hour. But as it does also state, bear in mind these are only possible, so they may not happen uh, and you could miss multiple of them and that will be it. But yeah, that is some like really cool stuff we can get. Like I like the shell reef quite a lot. And then of course the uh, flooring and walls are a nice addition if you are trying to keep up that summery theme. Because I know a lot of people have sort of spring based islands. So it'd be interesting to see how people adapt to this. But as always, big credits Animal Crossing World. If this video did help you out, please feel free to leave a sub down below. But if you guys are interested in watching me play games live and of course doing giveaways for things like this. So you know if we get any of the uh, DIY crafting recipe duplicates, I'll be sure to mention those in my Discord. And then of course we can give them away live over on Twitch whilst also visiting your new summer islands. So make sure you check out the links down below for the Discord and for my Twitch. And like I said, if this video did help, please consider subscribing. And if it really helped, please consider sharing this video with your friends. But like I said, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, peace out and take care.